we're going to South Korea, the 25th World Scout Jamboree in 2023, and we've got to raise £3,500 each. And it's just 4,000 scouts, 10,000 leaders all like together in one unit, like community of scouts, doing fun activities, learning and developing more of a personality and a character. I'm really excited. Amy, you snuck in through the back door though. Tell us about your experience because it's been a bit of a roller coaster, hasn't it? Well, I knew Freya was going and obviously I was devastated but extremely happy for her and I knew I'd help her with the fundraising. And then Freya messaged me one night and said, I've got a surprise for you. You're going as well. I was over the moon and I was so happy. Freya came round to mine. My, both of our mums were crying our eyeballs out. So proud of us. But it's just more money to raise and we know we can do it because we've got loads of stuff planned for the future selling donuts going out on walks i'm really excited to go because obviously it's an opportunity that not many people will get and obviously we're some of the few people that are actually going to go i am really excited because i get to go on this trip and that not many people do get to go on but just as these two girls Frey and amy said it is quite a tough thing to go through such as doing an application and going to a selection day where you meet lots of new people which can be scary but um, it'll be nice to learn a new language, le meet new people and try and learn the culture a bit more. My most favourite thing that I am looking forward to do is um, try new food from different countries because I'm a quite an experimentative person with what I eat and what I do so I'm looking for a new way to try and do something. I'm looking forward to all activities because I've seen there's like paragliding, uh, zip lining, rock climbing, and I'm such an adventurous person. I just enjoy that so much. I want to just experience this and just see how many people I can meet, how many things I can try, how many things I can experience that I've never experienced before. I'm mainly looking forward to meeting new people from all around the world to see how they live their life and like their culture and their kind of scouting experiences because obviously it's going to be different everywhere you go. I'd love to learn like what they do and what major events they do as a say country because that'll be something major different to what we do. It was a very exciting piece of news to learn about two to three weeks ago that these three young scouts and guides have been successful in being selected to go to South Korea for the World Jamboree. So I felt the least I could do, knowing they have to raise all the money themselves for their flights, etc., etc., was to give them a bit of a kickstart by presenting them each with a check for 200 pounds just to give them a start. I hope it does set them on their way and I'd like to wish them every success with their fundraising. But the other thing I think is really important to note is that they are quite unique in the sense that altogether there are only going to be 4,000 people from the UK actually going on this venture and they're ones from Bolsova, our own district, three have been selected. What a fantastic achievement and what an advertisement for young people in our district. Has it sunk in? how unique and how special this opportunity is. It's not really sunken at all, but I just know I'm really excited to go and it's like a once in a lifetime opportunity for all of us. Definitely not. I'm still like thinking, oh, is this dream or like, because when people are saying to me, oh, you're going to South Korea, I'm like, am I really? But it's, it's, I'm just so excited, but I just still can't believe it. And I probably won't believe it until I'm there. I've got used to the sort of routine of trying to find new ideas for fundraising. But at the same time, I still can't like get to grip with um, these three people because I've not really known them that great. But um, that would definitely be something to look forward to working together. I know all three of you were looking at how to say your name in Korean, but Nathan, I, I thought you were quite close to uh, to doing it. So if I can put you on the spot and ask you to uh, to bring some Korean to the table, is that possible? Hi, I am Nathan. It's translated to Anyon Gehe Aso Niden Ibnida. Amazing!